Um, John, with no H. With no H. Yeah. Um, I'll just show you a, a trick that you've probably never seen before. Uh, notice uh, before we begin that this card case has a large hole in it. And it's hard not to notice it. Uh, we may get to that later on if we need it. Um, I don't know if we will or not, but we might. And if we do, when I ask you, if you remember the hole in the box, you'll be able to say, yeah, because you, you made me remember it. Um, take uh, any card you like. It doesn't matter if I see it, but it, uh, it should be a card that we can see uh, clearly your signature on it. Um, it's sort of got one on there already. Uh, that's perfect. All right, and um, very much like the way this is written across the, the middle of the card, nice and big, just uh, sign, sign your name. So here we go. Uh, stop me if you've seen this. Uh, we'll take your card and place it sort of somewhere near the centre of the pack. Somewhere down and sign it. The, the interesting thing about this trick is that there's no sleight of hand. Um, you know, often magicians shuffle the cards or they move them about and they somehow manipulate them in some way. Uh, this trick doesn't have that. In actual fact, it feels like nothing happens when your card jumps back over with no sleight of hand. I'll, sh I'll show you that again. Uh, lift off half the pack, come on, John. And it like, goes down and the rest go on top. And there's no sleight of hand. You don't shuffle them or move them or move them. Use the other hand and it jumps back to the top. You, you get what I'm saying? I'll try it one more time. Take the ace of hearts and place it sort of halfway down in here, put the rest in here like this. So I'd be estimating that it's probably about 30 cards down inside the pack. And I start like this and it jumps back to the top. Like you've seen, you've seen a trick like this before. Yeah. A couple of times. Yeah, because you look a bit jaded. See, I thought I'd invented this pot. <laughs> but it turns out every magician I show it to is like, oh yeah, I do that, I do that trick. Here's what I'll do, I'll take it and uh, I'll put it look, uh, uh, face up, um, somewhere near uh, the centre. Uh, somewhere near the middle of the pack. And John, do you remember the, the, the large hole in the card case? Mm -hmm. Yep. Go. Good. Well, what the large hole does um, is it allows us to see uh, to see through the uh, the hole, and you can uh, actually see what card is on top of the pack thanks to the hole yep. in the box. So, with that in mind, and the card the wrong way round uh, in the centre of the pack, we we'll lock the box. Just like this, you can see it on, on all sides, all locked up, safe and secure, inside, uh, there like that. Somewhere in the middle is your card with your name on it. And remember I said no sleight of hand, right? Well, even if you thought I may have been pulling your leg in that regard, now it's sleight of hand proof because there's no way I, I can't yeah. manipulate them. Uh, and the hole in the case uh, uh, serves as a, a, view, a viewing port through which you actually see the card come back to the top. So here's what happens when I shake it like this. The card's actually beginning to move up through the cards. And eventually it make its way back to the top of the pack and arrive back on top of the deck. <laughs> Just like this. And if, you, if you look, what you'll actually see is um, it's genuinely look on top, see that? Let's take it out and show it to all your friends. Damn, that's good. Oh, that is Thank you. <laughs> and you, you can check the box as well, John. I know that I know that you you don't trust anyone. Of course, you can check the deck as well.